Hey Reset, welcome back to Life Groups. Week four, week one, we did context, social, and literary. Week two, we did genre with Psalm 123. Last week, we continued genre into narrative, but with a twist, we did the Lectio Divina. And this week, we're graduating to combining context and genre. So the genre that we're looking at is that of the origin story. And the context we're gonna look at is Babylon's origin story. Babylon is the empire that sacked Jerusalem in about 587 BC and carried off thousands of Jerusalemites into captivity for about the next 72 years. What that means is that many of those people, many of those Hebrew people, people of God, actually grew up having to learn the story of the Babylonian creation story, origin story, not necessarily the story that their ancestors had handed down to them. So, in the Babylonian uh, origin story, there is a goddess named Tiamat and a god named Apsu. Now, Tiamat is the goddess of salt waters. Apsu is the goddess is the god of fresh water. And in the story, they mix their waters. That's gross. That's as gross as it sounds, by the way. That is a euphemism for naughty stuff. And so, um, and so they make baby gods. And then those gods grow up and they make gods. And then as the younger generation of kind of punky gods grows up, probably enters their teenage years, they start partying all night. Apsu gets mad and he wants to kill them. And so they find out about it and they kill Apsu. Tiamat, his lover, uh, she's furious and she wants to kill the younger gods and they're terrified of her. So this young god steps forward. His name is Marduk. And he tells the other gods, I will kill Tiamat if you make me king of the gods when I do it. And they said, sure. And so he gathers his weapons and he fights Tiamat and he kills her in graphic detail. And then he fillets her carcass. And out of one side of her carcass, he makes the sky. And out of the other side of her carcass, he makes the land. But you notice how he hasn't made people. To do that, Marduk goes and he kills another god named Kingu. And from Kingu's blood, he makes human beings. And Marduk makes human beings to be the slaves of the gods. Human beings will now do all the dirty toil that comes with taking care of the earth so that the gods don't have to do it anymore. And they can sit back in a lap of luxury. Now, being deported into Babylon from their homeland in Jerusalem um, meant that a part and parcel of that was learning this story of Marduk in this origin story. And so when they come back to Jerusalem, um, they have to get reacquainted with the God of Israel and their origin story. So our genre is the origin story, and our context here is the Babylonian origin story. And when we look at Genesis 2 in this kind of a context, we can understand it and appreciate it in new ways, as opposed to trying to maybe, for example, read modern science into it or read modern science out of it. We're going to take a look at it in this historical context to try to help us understand what it meant to its original hearers. So, enjoy the text and the conversation tonight, everyone. And we will see you this weekend. Blessings Reset.